Name's Burt Bowler, chief pilot for uh, Teton Aviation out of uh, Jackson, Wyoming. Been flying this airplane for uh, 19 years. Been flying King Air since 1983. Back in early 2002, we were notified by the avionics manager at the time that we had sold a, a pretty large uh, install on a King Air. And it was uh, Teton Aviation, uh, customer name of Burt Bowler and uh, that's how it started. When we first met and, and debriefed, uh, I remember Bert talking about uh, you know, the overall upgrade and he knew exactly what, what he wanted uh, as far as uh, the avionics and, and what his vision was. I showed up out here uh, on a Sunday, avionics manager and uh, a bunch of the powers that be here met me on Sunday and they had a big display in the, with a little key I mean a little picture of what my airplane would look like, you know, that they'd uh, put on a computer. And, you know, everything went uphill from there. I remember what a big job it was. Uh, it was a huge project. It was the first of its kind uh, in the King Air. Uh, it was a full universal upgrade. And uh, Bert was, was the, uh, the test bed for that project. Overall, it was a great experience. I, I, I really enjoyed it. And uh, now Bert is back. And we're going to, we're going to, we've got the airplane again and we're going to, started all over. Back when we first uh, met Bert in uh, the early 2001 time frame, Bert was looking at what can he do to the cockpit of the aircraft to bring it to some of the latest technologies? Back when we did the first install, we were a small group. I think there was probably 10, 12 people in the avionics department, and there's 30 plus now in the avionics department. The engineering shop's grown since then. We have a lot more capability now than we had before, and we just, everybody brought together and got everything done. I remember it taking weeks to, to build that harness and never having been involved with something of that magnitude. Uh, it was, it was a pretty, pretty exciting for me at the time. Well, initially when, uh, when we debriefed and uh, you know, as, as we started engineering that whole project, uh, one thing that came to mind right away was where were we going to put all this equipment? There was quite a lot to be uh, considering with a project that size that we've never done before, especially with a new development of STC involved time frame and all that. We'd never done a full uh, universal package upgrade like that. We, it was a large STC project that we did. Uh, a lot of man hours, a lot of pre-planning. And we did back then a complete STC to include flight checks, to include uh, all of the paperwork. So when I left here a month later, the airplane was done. The experience was so good for him and uh, the installation so successful that he always kept uh, Elliott Aviation in mind for uh, the future mods and that's why he's back. It made me feel like we, uh, we obviously did a good job the first round. He was pleased with the install, um, we've given him good support since then and you know if, if he's coming back to do another large install, he's, he's happy with the work we did. It was amazing, uh, some of the folks still here you know, that worked on the airplane are here now again and uh, they've all moved up to doing bigger and better things but I'm happy with the way it turned out then, the uh, work that was done, the professionalism that was done, the courtesy that was given to me as a customer, uh, you know, uh, made me come back to Elliott. When uh, Bert decided to go forward, he was our 200th G1000. He and I have been talking about it off and on and different systems that we could get and how we could make my old system work. There was a way to do it, but with the old antiquated system, the old analog autopilot, and the old gyros and DGs and inverters and everything else that was in the airplane, it become cost prohibitive to change what was there to make it work, plus I didn't have space. The biggest benefit of the G1000 is the value it provides, and when you look at value, you have to look at all the things as in not just price, it's all about reliability, it's about functionality, it's about overall long-term investment for the aircraft. All these things pull together 
and the G1000 provides the best value you can get for an aircraft like this. Installation overall with everything that I've added uh, to uh, the airplane has been well received, it's been handled uh, professionally, it's been taken care of Johnny on the spot, so to speak. I think most I'm just looking forward to having Bert get in the airplane for the first time after we've done the install uh, and, and to, to go out and do the test flights and, and fly with our avionics technicians. At this time, we're basically whole again with the aircraft. The G1000's installed along with several other options that, uh, that Bert selected on the, along the way and uh, we're just getting ready to go outside and do the uh, post-engine runs, compass alignment, and get the aircraft prepared to fly tomorrow. We've now replaced the entire avionics suite in this aircraft. Front to back, all the wiring for the avionics has been replaced. Autopilot systems, AHARs, air datas, displays, FMS, GPSs, TAWSs, and TEEK, everything in the aircraft from avionics has been replaced, and we're doing that in three weeks. For Bert to, do, after 12 plus years, to consider LA Aviation for a G1000 uh, installation um, just speaks volume. Um, especially we're all here uh, from the previous uh, install. Um, I think that says, says everything about LA Aviation. With all my years of experience traveling around the countryside, mechanics come and go, technicians come and go whatever they are, avionics, mechanics, whatever. Supervisors, bosses, managers, from the top on down, come and go throughout the years that I've been flying. You come back to Elliott and it's the same people, from the family on top to the family on the bottom, and every guy inside of here, every person inside of here, I think what I see is happy, they're treated like family, and that makes a big difference to me of choosing some place to be able to come back in. One of the main reasons that I think uh, Bert is coming back is because of many of the original team members that did the install uh, that, at that, back at that time in 2002 are still here today. Uh, and I think that gives Bert the confidence and, and the trust to know that he was taken care of then and he will be taken care of now. From the day I walked in the door, the courtesy given to me, the professionalism that was done, the freedom to be able to wander around in this environment and stick my nose in the airplane, stick my nose in their business. I can learn. I learned about the system. I learned how to operate it and uh, everything was there. It, it's, to me, it's, this is a big family and they fit me right into that family.